And look at that, even some of the street signs are in Gaelic. Castle Street, Strayed Achia Steel. Been meaning to get one of these on the vlog for so long. To all you non-Scottish people out there, a square sausage, a lawn sausage, as known up here in Scotland. Oh my God. Oh. And yeah, so in just a few minutes, I will have finally done it. This video is a big, big moment for me. And uh, yeah, I can't believe the challenge that I set out to achieve is finally almost over. So what's next for the channel? Well, quite a lot. Without having this idea in mind when I began my Scottish videos, it now seems like the obvious thing to do. Since March, I've visited 17 Scottish clubs with 16 being in the SPFL. There's 42 teams in the SPFL pyramid and I wanna tick them all off in a video before 2021 begins. And by tick them all off, I mean just see them and make a video about them in some capacity. We're coming into winter now and I've still not been to Inverness, Ross County, Aberdeen, Cove Rangers, so there's gonna be some uh, some pretty weird trips up north with the weather, I feel like. But I'm gonna make it my mission to see everyone. Oh my God. I set myself a challenge and it feels good to accomplish it. Set yourself a goal, stick to it, and who knows what you might achieve. Today I will be visiting the 42nd SPFL club. I visited Inverness yesterday, which was the penultimate, but today, in a minute, once I've eaten this roll, I'm gonna go and check out number 42, meaning that I have seen every single Scottish league team here. Now there's obviously the Highland and the Lowland League as well, but in terms of like the SPFL, the Scottish Professional Football League, the Pyramid, the top four divisions from League Two to the Premiership, I will have seen every single stadium. But that isn't the end for this channel and for Scottish football, it is just the beginning. I have so many ideas planned for 2021 and after Vlogmas, obviously I'm doing a video every day until Christmas. Once that's over and we're into 2021, honestly, there's gonna be so much happening. You're gonna love it, so if you're not subscribed already, please make sure you do. So after today, once this video's done, every time I hear about Ross County see their score, I'm always gonna remember that they were the last club. And what a great challenge it's been. I've loved visiting all the different clubs, from Airdrionians to Aberdeen to Albion Rovers to now being at Dingwall for Ross County, Celtic and Rangers, but also Cove Rangers and Falkirk, Dumbarton, there's not been one I haven't enjoyed going to. I've loved every single one, and I cannot wait to see what Ross County's like. So please like this video, and uh, yeah, like I say, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, let's go and have a look around Dingwall. I mean, it is a place called Dingwall here. I'm about to finish off my roll, but look, even some of the street signs are in Gaelic. That's how far north I am. Hello everybody, Sam from the future here. This video is sponsored by buysellfootballshirts.co.uk. It will be the first link in the description box below. That is to their website. And yeah, go on there and check out their range. They have a huge range of shirts. I'll leave some of the more random and amazing ones on screen and around my head so you can see the range of shirts that they have. Now, if you do go on there and you do like a shirt and you want to purchase that shirt, when you're checking out, use the discount code FOOTY10 for 10% off. If you do purchase a shirt and use the discount code footy10 they'll know about it they'll be buzzing and you'll be supporting my channel not just that though you'll be getting a top quality football shirt i know i've had a few of them myself and yeah if you're supporting one of the teams here in scotland then just search for that team and see if they have one from your favorite club and even if you're a scottish football fan why not get a classic scotland shirt for the euros ready for the summer when all that kicks off and yeah if you do purchase one you're supporting my channel and yeah use that discount code footy10 first link in the description box below they've got an amazing range so yeah check them out Thank you very much. They've got palm trees here. Fair play. Do love a palm tree. Every time I see one, it brings back good memories of Australia, Bali, Thailand. I do love a palm tree. This is an absolutely beautiful town. Look at that church. Little memorials, war memorials dotted around and stuff. And like, honestly, some of the mountains on the way up here were just insane. And I'm going up to Brora later, so I'm sure the drive will be amazing. Look at that football stadium. And more examples of the street names being in Gaelic. Achany Road, I guess you'd say. Rathad Achanid. There you go. 
and the stadium is going to be just over this little bridge here. Cue dramatic music. I've made it. Oh yes, finally. The challenge is done. And it's quite sad that I'm here. Seems like the end of a bit of a journey I've been on, but also the start of something amazing as well. There's so much more coming. Right, first off, let's go and take a look down here. This little gate's open. Look at that, this is one of the most rural looking grounds I've ever been in. Look at that little castly looking building there. There's farms everywhere, all around here. And then you've just got a ground Forfa, that was literally opposite a farm. That was extremely, extremely rural, but as is this. And I've got to do it. Number 42. 100% tick, absolutely buzzing. And as I come around the other side here, it looks like there are training pitches next to the main stadium itself. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about Ross County. I will try and enter around the front like I did at Inverness yesterday. There was people there, they showed me around, a little stadium tour, if you will. And yeah, I'll be uh, trying the same here. There's a few people knocking about at the ground. Yeah, just look at the ruralness of some of this. Ground is right there, and then you've got hills, and there is a snow-covered mountain over there, just a little bit covered out by the, uh, by the clouds and stuff. But yeah, what a, what a setting for a ground this is. Now, much like there, local rivals Inverness Cali Thistle. I believe Ross County were formed in their very early stages through a merging of two other clubs. Anyway, they were known as the team that we know today as Ross County from 1929. 1929 was the year of the Great Depression, which is one of the worst economic disasters, probably the worst actually, economic disaster to happen to the industrialized world. It was the year of the famous Wall Street crash, which wiped out millions of investors. But yeah, financial depression aside, it was Ross County that year who started started their life as a football club. They won the Highland League on three occasions between the 1920s and 1990s, and they even had a reputation as giant killers in the Scottish Cup. In the 1994-95 season, the leagues were restructured and it was then a four-tier system, as opposed to, I think, three before. Ross County and Inverness were the two teams that won the election into the new tier and the new pyramid of Scottish football. They needed to add two more teams, and it was the two Highland teams, Ross County and Inverness, who won the votes in 1995. They remained in the bottom tier for the first few years, Ross County that is, and uh, yeah, they even enjoyed a promotion in the early 2000s. Since about 2012 though, they have only competed in the top two tiers of Scottish football, and they are currently in the Premiership. So not only am I here to complete the 42 SPFL clubs, I have now completed the 42 Premiership clubs of Scotland as well. The Premiership is comprised of 12 teams, the other three leagues are 10. That is the 42 that make up the league system here. Right, I'm gonna uh, get round the front a bit now and see if we can't get in and have a look around. Uh, there was a few little doors and gates open. There's a few people milling about. I believe the players are due to train on one of the training pitches later on today. So yes, let's, uh, let's see if the stadium lottery can pay off. And I know a lot of you say in the comments, uh, do you get in contact with clubs and stuff? And yes, I do. I pretty much, 
email or DM on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Most clubs that I come and visit, um, a lot of the time they can't accommodate me or I can't always get a response, which is understandable, especially from the big clubs. I understand that they're very busy and must get a lot of uh, stuff sent into them. However, yeah, sometimes I do just like to turn up at grounds and see what happens, to be honest. That way, sometimes clubs see the videos and invite me back, having kind of shown what I can do with my vids and stuff. And yeah, sometimes it's just nice not to know what's gonna happen. And sometimes some of my best videos have come from just unexpectedly turning up at ground. So yes, I do get in contact sometimes. And yeah, sometimes I'm happy not to be able to get in straight away because yeah, like I say, I've had some great moments where the unexpected has happened. And yeah, I'm a big fan of doing things spontaneously and unexpectedly. So yeah, it's not all bad when I can't get in anywhere. But we'll see, we'll see. Here we go, we'll have a peek in. Oh, I can't believe this is the last one to see. I'm off to Brora later, Highland League team. But yeah, there's a lot of teams I've obviously not covered yet, Highland and Lowland. There's stuff in England I wanna do next year. There's games I wanna go to. There's stadiums I need to get inside of as well. Um, so yeah, there's still a lot to happen next year. And here we go, look at this. Welcome to Ross County, more than just a football club. Can't believe I've finally done it. It's culminated in me coming to Ross County in the kind of weeks before Christmas here to come and finish my challenge. I wonder what we're, challenges we're gonna do next year. If you do have any football related challenge ideas for me, let me know below, look at this. Yeah, if you do have any uh, football challenge related video ideas, get them down below. I've got a few in my head ready for next season, but yeah, any others, let me know. Pretty nice shirts, the old Ross County. They got the old stag on the badge, also known as the staggies. They look quite nice kits this season. And yeah, there was a little bit of the ground that was open around the other side. I'm gonna see if I can get in and have a quick sneak peek at the pitch. If not, I will be back. But I've got to head off to Brora in a minute. I've not got long till I've got to head up there and that's another hour away. So yes, long old day for me again today. Drove up to Inverness yesterday. Now it's, uh, yeah, Dingwall and Ross County. Now I'm coming around to where I started. Right, the last club of the 42. Look at that, a lovely rural setting here. Snow-capped mountains up there. And the Ross County Stadium here in Dingwall. I've got in, I've had a look at the 42, the 42nd, sorry, club. 100% record. I've not been inside them all. However, yeah, I've now seen them all. So that's it, challenge complete right before Christmas. That is all 42. From Albion Rovers to Ross County, from Stranraer in the south to Elgin in the north. I've been to them all, I've seen them all. Some from the outside, some from the inside. Some I've seen games at, some I've seen their trophy cabinet. And some, yeah, I've come on a nice wintry morning like today. I really do hope you've enjoyed all the 42 videos. Some have been Derby vids, some have been vids specifically to each club. Some have been match day vlogs. Some have been more like stadium tours, like at Falkirk when I got a proper tour of the whole entire stadium, East Fife as well. And yeah, so please do like this video. It feels good to have finally done it. I've got challenges in my mind for 2021, but yes, if you do have any, let me know below. It'd be great to hear them because some of my best video ideas have come from your comments. Please do remember to check out buysellfootballshirts.co.uk. I am now off to Brora, which is an hour north of here. They've got Gaelic street signs and snow-capped mountains here. What's it gonna be like? in an hour's journey north. Then after that, I've got to drive back towards Glasgow, where I live, get these videos up, and yeah, plan the rest of vlogmas as uh, i've got a few more videos to get up still please do remember to like and subscribe i'll leave a few videos around my head so you can keep watching my content the subscribe button and a playlist as well i'm gonna leave you with the site of the 42nd club that i visited ross county i'll forever remember this stadium